first what we do? I'm gonna pull out a bit this way. Hold on, hold on. That's better. Yo, so this right there, right there, right there, right there. Silent, silent. <clears throat> I'm California dreaming. Uh, this is our first ever collab video and we're doing it on how the first month of the year went, 2019, January 2019, how it went for us and what our plans were in the month. No, you're kicking my stuff over. <laughs> so I've, I've invited him to my crib <laughs> and he's wrecked the price. Not on. Yeah, so January 2019, so let's just kick it off. I had a challenge back in my previous video to hit one client by the end of the month and that went extremely well in fact it's gone beyond that I've actually gained four maybe five that's a maybe but four set clients this month which yeah. is absolutely amazing I've shot two already and I've got two more coming up um, so yeah that went really really well I set up my Instagram account as well just less than a month ago um, I set that up January the 8th I believe and from then I've been posting every single day to get my creative page up and to get my followers and get engagements and just get out there yeah. for my videography and my creative um, photography account kind of thing. And um, You're on like how many followers now? I'm on 96, 95, I think I could drop down to 95. 95 followers in less than a month just from posting every day. Sometimes I'd leave it for two days, but yeah. Yeah, man, that's pretty insane, isn't it's gone, it? It's gone really, really well this month, and I'm happy with it. Um, you may have seen two of my videos. I've got the motocross video and the stress release, stress release band live performance. The final and the full edit will be available very soon, hopefully next week. And that's gone really well, so that's like insane for the first month. But it's not just like a month. You can't just count it as a month. It's like the first month of doing all this. The first so month. So it's like the first month of doing this. So we're all like new to the... We're all new to like, you know, creating the content, put the content out there, work with clients, messaging people, trying to find clients, which is what I've been struggling with, like, is trying to find them. I think that's the most difficult thing, is trying to find them. But my goals were kind of basically to set up my YouTube channel, set up my Instagram properly. Because I, I, I had it before that, but I wasn't sort of doing it in the intent of trying to grow it really fast no. and trying to grow it quite big. So um, this month I was like, okay, I want to try and grow my YouTube as much as I can, grow my Instagram and release as much content as I can. And for all, a small huge, for like for a low subscriber count, because at the start of the month I had 27, and now I'm on 44, that's quite, because I haven't like exploded sort of thing, that's quite a lot, decent amount of subscribers to go by Definitely. in a month. When you're that low on subscribers, the more subscribers you have, the quicker they go up, if that makes sense. So, um, I don't think that, that's, not, that's not too bad. That, that's not really that bad. I've been consistent with my videos, and the same on my Instagram posts. Uh, this month I've gained, um, 70, 89, 100, 100 and I've gained like 50, 50 Instagram followers this month from my photography, so that's pretty decent as well, it's going well. It's going really well. I've uh, been on some shoots with you, uh, that, that, that actually hit you up really well, didn't it? That, the photo of me, the portrait photography of me, yeah. you did that, was yeah. one, that was your big blow up. On yeah, as soon as I did, yeah, as soon as I did like, I think you could see my work, because when I was taking photos of just uh, sort of landscapes and things like that, it's not really what I'm interested in photography, but as soon as... I went on a shoot in photography that, I, that I'm interested in. Um, I think that came across in the photo. I think the quality sort of came across in the photo. And just from that one photo, I gained like an extra eight followers, I think. So, Easy, that, yeah. so that was that was really good. Both of a productive start of the year, haven't we, really? I think it's both gone well. I mean, we can't expect to have like a crazy amount of subscribers, the crazy amount of likes. It's like the first month, you can't expect everything to just go mm. and just blow up. You've got to have sort of patience, haven't you? Definitely, yeah. This month, I think it's gone really well. I don't think we have to like sort of worry about it. Um, but what are the sort of plans going into like what what have you got sort of like? Are you going to ch change anything going into February and the rest of the year? Are you going to sort of keep it the same? Oh yeah, hundred percent. Like from now on, my YouTube channel is going to be niched down to just videographer mm. um, tips and tricks and my journey with videography. And, um, also with my health and fitness, Fitness Friday is still continuing um, and stuff like that. But my main, my main thing now is that because I'm growing as a videographer, obviously my cinematic um, approaches to filming has, come a lot, has grown a lot. So I'm looking into more cinematography. So hopefully, fingers crossed, I'm gonna be yeah. doing, I'm gonna be tailoring my <laughs> YouTube channel to more of a cinematic videographer channel as well as my fitness. So that's gone well, and obviously um, my new banner and my new profile picture was shot by Jake, 
like I'm not gonna just saying this because you're my best mate, but your <laughs> your photography skills are on point. I'm I'm confident now. Get out this guy. I'm yeah. happy now to just say, yeah, what I want a new profile picture, I want a new YouTube banner, I want a new cover, I want a new thumbnail or anything. I just want something to look really cinematic. I'm comfortable just ring up my boy Jake and just say, Can I have a portrait photographer? Can I can I have some photography shot today? We'll go on we we'll go on a set, we'll go on a shoot and you, and it'll just make every single photo you want. Absolutely amazing. Take a look at this I'm picture. Blushing, I'm blushing. You're blushing. <laughs> Take a look at this picture right here. What we did last night, um, just in a small city in Litchfield around the corner from us. Um, and Jake actually really popped yeah. the colours out on that in the edit suite and the um, Lightroom. Yeah. And he really, really got that shot looking stunning. And that's now my new cover out for YouTube. Which I really am grateful for that. But yeah, get out Jake man. the Val if you want any photographer because he's honestly amazing at the minute. <laughs> so, so I big, can't really big 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 I can't really, I can't really say anything now. I may as well just end the video. <laughs> end the video on that. But um, now that like I think the biggest thing from that shoot was that um, you know we you kind of sit there and think once you've done something in your area like well my area's boring. There's nothing going on. There's nothing to do. But there's so many factors like Litchfield and like the area with the area we shot the uh, that photo shoot on like it looked completely different at the night, didn't it? Oh yeah. Like as soon as yeah. you like put the lens in it like um, the way we did and like get all the bokeh coming out really nice on the photos it just looks like a completely different area and location so yeah. different types of weather different times of the day will make where you where you're at completely different there's always different people around and different like the environment's always always changing so um, there's more to like your location than you sort of think so, yeah we was always about like in like probably um, late 2018 we was always like Oh, I'm not going to Litchfield, there's nothing there. What can we possibly yeah, get in Litchfield? Exactly. But last night we actually discovered there's actually loads of different shots you can get in Litchfield and, yeah. and how cinematic you can get them. Yeah, exactly. I think me going into February, um, I think I'm going to just continue what I'm doing, try and get some more clients, try and get some more work in and um, focus down on my Instagram, like really focus on the type of photography that I'm releasing, really focus on that. Um, what would you say, like, the hardest part about it was so far like the hardest thing they releasing all this content out to people and like the hardest thing is um, obviously time management you've obviously got mm. to bring your time up completely like now from now on because I have a night shift every now and again um, and I do that four days a week so I have to wait till 5pm so to get a full day out and to get whatever I want all my creative content out I've got to wake up around 6am in the morning just to make, just for me to be able to do that um, so yeah, time management is probably the hardest, but I think the main thing to make it easier, to make it just easy for yourself, and I think the main thing I've learned um, so far Jan in the just first in month the first of January, month, yeah, yeah, first month of 2019, is just um, just do it, like you just got to go out and do it, because mm. you're always procrastinating, you're always just saying, oh, you're always trying to make a plan first and try and do something first, but honestly, just go out there and just do it, Get it done, yeah. nine times out of ten it's going to come out successful and you're going to be really yeah. pleased with it, so... Like yesterday, we just thought, let's just do it, let's just go. And we've made a channel art straight away. Yeah. And that, that's the main thing I've learned um, for the first for the first month of 2019 already, is just, just literally do it, stop thinking so much about it. And just get it done, and just yeah. Just do it, it. Yeah, because that sort of goes on to what I'd say about the hardest thing is, it's not necessarily hard, but it just feels weird that um, I'm sort of all of a sudden like releasing all this content and... It's just a strange feeling knowing that's going out to all the people that I know yeah. and all the people I know around me and all the people sort of look at. I know like I'm almost like putting myself in their faces, like I'm throwing myself at them. And that's a weird feeling to know that like there's people, you know, from like who I used to know and back in like, you know, high school that are just like watching all this stuff. I mean, they might not be, but like I know some of them are oh, yeah, they yeah. tell me. And it's just weird to think because it's like... But well, we know it's just weird putting yourself out there like this. It's just strange. Oh, People yeah. think it's weird and that. But like you said, you've just got to do it and like just forget. You, know? you kind of have to for this sort of career, and it's like you kind of just got to do it anyway. It doesn't matter what sort of people think. And I think that's kind of if anything that's sort of always come up in my head, sort of thing. It's always that. It's just like ah, oh, like you know, this is embarrassing. But it's not at all. Like you know what no, I mean? Like you see people not. do it, and at the end of the day, if um, things go well, then. You're gonna be grateful that you did this, aren't you? No, you're gonna yeah, be grateful definitely. that you did all this because like you kind of need to. So you're just gonna yeah. get over it and just like do it. Oh, it yeah. just feel weird. So literally, you're gonna keep on top of it, grinding Instagram, grinding YouTube, grinding your things you love to do, and then eventually they'll just come. And we're we're doing at the minute. Uh, well, what we're gonna do soon is spend a whole day together just nagging clients. Really, aren't we? we're just yeah. gonna start emailing, yeah, just emailing clients, messaging clients, clients yeah. trying to get as much work as we can in because. It's what we need to do. Mm. Like at the end of the day, I need to start making money of this and start like having a career off this. So exactly, it's yeah. kind of the hustle and the work we kind of need to put in. Otherwise, it's 
sort of pointless. The only reason why it's going, we feel like it's going so well and things are working out so well is because we've got three of us. It's like me, you and Jack. So it's so much easier when you've got people around you, like your best mates who are doing it as well, because if you don't feel like doing it, so to say if I'm sitting, I'm sitting there at home, it's like, oh, okay, what am I going to do today? And then I'll get a call up of Jake saying, yo, I want to do this or let's go shoot this. So it's sort of like, it bounce, you bounce off each oh, other yeah. and you get to go, you know, like say if I wasn't planning in on doing anything that day, like you'd get me out of the house and I'll be doing something. Exactly, yeah. And it works vice versa and things of like course. that. Same with the gym, so like anything like that. Definitely. You surround yourself with people who are doing a similar thing to you and you just be, you end up doing it all the time and all the time and you keep pushing each other further. So I think that's like one of the biggest sort of advantages we have is that it was me, you and Jack and we're yeah, all we working were, together we're all looking for that. company each other. It's not a competition, it's more like you just know, getting people, just getting help. We're yeah. kind of helping each other out, but yeah. we're very lucky for that. We should be actually grateful for that because that's not that's not a lot of opportunities coming. Yeah, like I th yeah, I think to myself, like if I was doing it all by myself, then it's like it's just little things like you, you know this. Have, I'll you have be to, doing this right now. No, no. Types of videos. And the portrait photography, you have to go out and find maybe your brother or something. Exactly, your yeah. You have to find someone else. Who's exactly, like, it's all things like that. So finding people uh, around you is like really good. Mm. Should we call that a wrap? I think that's gonna. I think that should probably be the end of the video. Yeah, go wrap of the day. So, <laughs> no, <laughs> it's a bit faster. It's no McDonald's, no, no McDonald's, healthy foods. No McDonald's, unfortunately. Cheat days are allowed to me on again, but <laughs> um, but yeah, they planted the new gym right next to a McDonald's. Yeah, I mean, what's that about? That's just purposely going against us, isn't it? But we, we thought, thought the conclusion right, didn't mean the These summer. two people, these two big YouTubers, like, they go to the gym, they're trying to... <laughs> big YouTubers. They're trying to, like, eat well, and then they just put a McDonald's right next to the gym. Who does that? I mean, in the summer, like you said, go and get a camera for a pie. Yeah. But it is a lot of sugars. Or even crazy if we don't have coffees every day, you know what I mean? Yeah. You guys, let us know how your January 2019 yeah. went, and um, we look forward to hearing from you guys. I hope you enjoyed the video. Please leave a like, please leave a comment. Leave me here. <laughs> what? Oh shit! We're gonna be so good. Oh no, that, that's bad. No. Um, <laughs> please leave a like on the video if you enjoyed it. Let me know what you think about this type of video, clavering with Jake. I really enjoyed it. I think it was super fun. And please subscribe. That is a huge help. Yeah. And I'll see you in the next video. Peace. Peace.